What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be tackling an incredibly annoying issue with Steam. Basically, if I open up Steam, you'll see in my downloads list over here, I have a ton of games that all have zero byte updates. And if I hit the up button, they'll go from scheduled to starting and then immediately go back to scheduled. Now, this wouldn't be too bad if I could simply click play and the game would start up. However, as you can see, an error occurred, content servers unreachable. This happens for all of these games on this list, even though some of them will properly update. So if I head back to the library over here, you'll see the same thing. Absolutely nothing happens. So what can we do to fix this? Well, first of all, it's a good idea to restart Steam. Click Steam in the top left and then click Exit. After it's closed, open up your task manager with Control Shift and Escape. And inside of here, simply look for any Steam entries. Click anywhere, hit S, S again until you see Steam. Otherwise, if you don't see Steam anywhere on this list, Steam is closed properly. So I'll go ahead and fire up Steam again and I'll head back to the download section. As you can see, the issue seems to be fixed now where the downloads are actually starting and this one isn't zero bytes, it's actually 16 megabytes. Now I should be able to do this for all of the updates that are currently pending and eventually I should be able to actually play the games when these small updates complete. Here we go. 48 megs. However, what else can we do if this doesn't fix the issue? Well, you can try fully restarting your computer, and if that doesn't work, let's jump into some other debugging steps. Number one, hit start and type in proxy. Open up proxy settings, and inside of here at the very top where it says automatically detect settings, simply turn this off. After turning it off, check to see if your Steam works properly, toggle it back on if it's not working, and see if that's fixed it. Otherwise, we can close out of this and we can check our task manager to make sure that Steam isn't doing work in the background. Often downloads that have started but are stuck at zero will have this little green disk indicator pinned to the top. Otherwise, if they're at the bottom, it may still be using your disk without actually telling you. It may have to move around a lot of files and do a lot of work before actually downloading the update in order to get things working properly. You can check by opening the task manager and heading across to the performance section at the very top, followed by disk. And whatever disk that you have the game on, you'll see the read and write speed down here. On the processes tab, you'll also notice that Steam should have some kind of disk usage. However, if it's not and everything's stuck at zero bytes, what else can we try? Well, let's try flushing our DNS cache as well as flushing Steam's config. So hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog box. In here, type in CMD and hit enter. After a new window opens up, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and hit enter. After it's done, you can close out of the window. Once again, hold start, press R, and that'll bring up the run dialog box. In here, type in steam colon forward slash forward slash flush config and hit enter. After doing this, you'll see this on your screen. This will clear your local downloaded cache and you'll need to log into Steam again. After hitting OK, all of your currently processing downloads will have their progress reset, I'm pretty sure, and you'll be asked to log into Steam again. But after you do log into Steam again, you should be able to start the downloads and continue them instead of them just being stuck at zero. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful here. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!